नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श छु वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ मैथ्स चैप्टर थ्री कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री सो नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न चैप्टर थ्री कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री चैप्टर थ्री कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री व्हाट डू मीन बाय कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री एक्चुअली दिस कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री दैट इज व्हाट द ब्रांच ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स दैट इज द ब्रांच ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स विच इन विच ज्योमेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम आर सॉल्व यूजिंग कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम हियर द geometric problems are solved using coordinate system so what is this coordinate system coordinate system that we will discuss here cartesian coordinate plane the coordinate system here that is cartesian coordinate plane so here in coordinate geometry we are going to discuss how these problems are solved so let us discuss cartesian coordinate plane so our here chapter coordinate geometry so here position of a point what we are going to learn in this chapter some points new terms for you the position of a point is located on the plane by drawing two lines mutually perpendicular to each other when there are two lines drawn mutually perpendicular to each other when there are two lines drawn mutually perpendicular to each other then we find the position when these are drawn mutually perpendicular ek bijane perpendicular then we find the position of point located on that so that is what here we are going to learn here in this the plane is called the cartesian or the coordinate plane cartesian coordinate plane we say or cartesian plane and here mutually perpendicular lines these lines which are mutually perpendicular these mutually perpendicular lines are called axes in plural singular axis a x i s plural here axis there are two axis x axis and y axis so here perpendicular lines we will discuss here the horizontal line is called x axis horizontal line is called x axis and the vertical line is called y axis so these two are horizontal and perpendicular they are mutually perpendicular lines in a plane so x coordinate of point in this x axis here the point we consider we will discuss the example 1 you will come to know the x coordinate distance of a point distance of a point from y axis that is called x coordinate we call it abscissa that is called abscissa saying we have y coordinate so y coordinate means distance of a point from x axis at what distance the point p is from x axis in the plane then it is called coordinate the coordinates of the origin where origin means the point where these two perpendicular lines intersect so the point where these two perpendicular lines intersect that is origin so coordinates of this origin are 0 0 coordinates of this origin are 0 0 is it clear so here is called x coordinate and y coordinate both are same because they meet at a point called origin we say here abscissa that is x coordinate of every point if there is a plane and any point p is on it then abscissa of that point on is 0 on y axis if that point is on y axis then its abscissa or the x coordinate is 0 and the coordinate means y coordinate coordinate means y coordinate of every point is 0 on x axis on x axis you take any point then its y coordinate that is called coordinate is 0 Here axis divide the plane into four quadrants. When we 
take we will take the example number one here the top of the table one horizontal line and one vertical line are drawn mutually perpendicular then it divides the these are called axis x axis and y axis they divide the plane into four quadrants and these four quadrants the points are like this both the positive points x coordinate and y coordinate for this point both are positive then the that point lies in the quadrant first then it lies in the first quadrant here if the x coordinate negative and y coordinate positive then lies in the second quadrant then it lies in the second quadrant both the coordinates x and y are negative then it lies in the third quadrant and when x coordinate positive but y coordinate negative then it lies in the fourth quadrant it lies in the fourth quadrant now let us discuss this through question of exercise 3.1 here the question is how will you describe the position of a table length here there is a table length p here there is a table and table length p so how will you describe the position of a table length on your study table to another person so first of all what we do here to describe this position of a table length placed on the table let us consider this uh, table as a plane and there is a point p on the table and that is table length so this x coordinate here x coordinate x axis and y axis are these two edges of the table for the table this edge is x axis and this is y axis and this point at the corner is called origin so table is here so what we have to do we have to draw a perpendicular from point p to y axis draw the perpendicular from point p to y axis if we draw a perpendicular from point p to y axis this is the point p and we have drawn the perpendicular to the point p on y axis and the distance is suppose a then we say this is what the point is at a distance of x a units point p is at a distance of a units from y axis and this is called x coordinate same way if you draw a perpendicular from point p to x axis perpendicular dropped from point p to x axis then that is this distance is b this distance of the point p from x axis is b then we say the y coordinate distance of point p from y x axis is y coordinate so we say y coordinate b so the distance of point from y axis x coordinate and distance of the point p from x axis is called y coordinate and thus we say the position of the table length thus the position of the table length is described as as point p with x coordinate a and y coordinate b here x coordinate a and y coordinate b that means the point p or the table length is at a distance of x units from a units from y axis and the point p is at a distance of b units from x axis so that is x coordinate and y coordinate now we will discuss what is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and we will take the question 2 now in cartesian coordinate plane we can call this plane as a cartesian plane or coordinate plane or xy plane so here as we have discussed the plane is divided into four parts by vertical line and 
horizontal line. Horizontal line is called x-axis, vertical line is called y-axis and they are mutually perpendicular to each other. They intersect at a point called origin. Its coordinates are 0, 0. Now as it is divided into four parts, we say four quadrant. Here you can see the quadrant 1. Anti-clockwise, we say from here quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. The quadrant 1 contains all the coordinates, x coordinate positive and y coordinate also positive. Here it is east direction and north direction, both positive. Quadrant 2 contains x coordinate first of all that is west direction negative and north direction positive. Then quadrant 3 contains x coordinate negative that is west direction and y coordinate south direction that is also negative. And fourth quadrant contains x coordinate that is east direction positive and south direction y coordinate negative. So here you can see the point P suppose in this quadrant first if we draw a perpendicular to if we drop a perpendicular to y-axis, if you drop a perpendicular to y-axis from point P to y-axis, what happens here? This is at a distance, we say x units. That means that distance of the point P from Y axis is called X units. So this distance is called here it is X is equal to 5. So 0 to 5 units it is equal to this distance that is from this point P perpendicular to the Y axis that is called X coordinate. That is you can see this is equal to here. Now that is 0 to 5 units. Now drop a perpendicular from the point P to x axis if you drop a perpendicular from point p to x axis that is called the distance of the point p from x axis is 4 units that is y is equal to 4 units you can see 0 to 4 units so this 0 to 4 that is equal to this distance so the distance of the point p from y axis 4 units so we say y coordinate 4 units so here positive direction that is towards north and this is towards east same way for the point q in this quadrant if you drop a perpendicular to y axis we will get x coordinate and this distance is equal to 6 units you can say 0 to 6 but as it is in the west direction here we say the x is equal to negative 6 x is equal to negative 6 same way if we drop a perpendicular to x axis we get a distance equal to here y is equal to positive 3 as it is towards north so q from q if you drop a perpendicular to y axis we will get the x coordinate and from uh, q to x axis will get y coordinate so here the coordinates of the point p you can see 5 positive and 4 positive here coordinates of the point q x coordinate is negative 6 and y coordinate is positive 3 similarly we can find the coordinates of point r and s by dropping the perpendicular from point r to x y axis and x axis. So if we drop a perpendicular to y axis, we get y x coordinate is equal to negative 5. And if we drop a perpendicular to x axis, we get the y coordinate y is equal to this distance is negative 3. So here the coordinates are negative 5, negative 3. Same way, if we drop a perpendicular from s to y axis, we get y coordinate x coordinate and that is x is equal to 4 units you can see it is 4 units this is equal to this and if you drop a perpendicular from point s to x axis then that is called y coordinate and this distance is negative 5 
in the south direction, so 5 distance, but in south direction, so negative 5. So here the x coordinate is in the north direction, so positive 4, and y coordinate in the south direction, 5 units, and so it is negative 5. So these are the coordinates. You can see now here both the in this quadrant both x and y coordinates positive. Here x coordinate negative and y coordinate positive. Here both the coordinates negative. Here x coordinate positive and y coordinate negative. So this way the Cartesian coordinate plane or x y plane is divided into uh, four parts. There is four quadrants. Now using this fact, let us go for question number two. A city has two main roads. A city has two main roads which cross each other at the center of the city. That is, these two main roads are along the uh, north-south direction, that is vertical line, and here east-west direction, that is horizontal line. So, in this plane, we say east-west direction is called x-axis and north-south direction is called y-axis. Here, it is positive direction, is negative direction, is positive direction, is negative direction. Here, uh, mutually uh, perpendicular, they, they intersect mutually perpendicular at origin, that is here 0. So, here there are streets running. In this question, it is given that there are parallel streets. The streets of the city, they run parallel to each other here. Parallel to uh, these parallel roads and these are 200 meters apart. These parallel roads here along this, you can see this uh, x-axis, there are parallel roads street 1, street 2, street 3, street 4, street 5 and they are 200 uh, meter apart. So we have taken in this model 1 centimeter on this uh, model is equal to 200 meter. Similarly parallel roads to uh, this east west direction are runs here street 1, uh, street 1, street 2, street 3, street 4, street 5. Here also 1 centimeter is equal to 200 meter distance. Now in this uh, you can see there are many cross streets uh, in this model and the particular uh, uh, cross street is made by two streets that is in the north, south and east, west direction they cross each other at a particular referred point here you say one point is given and here the street 2 this street 2 and this is street 5 so street 2 you can see it is at a distance of 2 units Street 2 is it has a distance of 2 units from uh, y axis. So, parallel to y axis, street 2 is parallel to y axis at a distance of 2 units, that is 400 meter. 1 centimeter is equal to 4, uh, 200 meter. So, 2 centimeter is equal to 400 meter. So, that is 2 units. And here you can see now uh, this street 5, here a cross intersection, here they intersect at street 5 and street 2. So, street 2 that is 2 units from y axis same way here street 5 that is 5 units from x axis. So, distance of y axis from this point is called from street 2 is called 2 units that is x coordinate and distance of uh, this street 5 from x axis it is at a 5 units distance and so we say y coordinate 5 units. So, here there is a unique one and only one uh, cross street can be uh, referred to this point ok so now our question is how many cross streets referred to uh, this point 4 3 here say point A 4 3 4 3 here it is point A 4 3 4 and 3 that is this point 4, 3, this is point A. And also one more question, how many cross streets can refer to the point 3, 4, 3, 4, that is point B, 3, 4, that is third street and here fourth street. So this is 3, 4, here third street parallel to y-axis and fourth street parallel to x-axis. So this is point uh, B. So, how many streets refer to this point A? So, you can see now here, in this question, uh, uh, here there is a street 4, that is at a distance of 4 units from y-axis. So, its x-coordinate is 4. At the same time, 
x y coordinate 3 means it is at a distance of 3 units from the slit 3 is at a distance of 3 units from x axis but these two slits intersect at one and only one point so the first answer here is there is a unique there is a unique cross slits here uh, how many cross slits are there unique such a point will get uh, or uh, unique slits will get that refers to this point a so unique slits referred to your point A with the coordinates 4, 3. Similarly, second part here, here you can see uh, third straight from y axis that is it is at a distance of 3 units from y axis so its x coordinate is 3 at the same time fourth street is at a distance of 4 units from x axis so its y coordinate is 4 so at the point B this point 3 4 here how many streets uh, uh, refer to this point so only one uh, one and only one streets here cross at this point so there is a unique point will get or unique point of intersection for these streets and no other streets uh, can refer to this point. So here also unique uh, streets referred to uh, this point B and that is point B with the coordinates 3, 4. So for this point one and only one uh, pair of streets referred or uh, for one pair of streets there is one and only one point on this. So you can see here, here fourth street and third street here third street and fourth street both are different so this does not refer to this or this does not refer to this for this point there is a unique streets and for this point also there are unique streets so that is what here x coordinate and y coordinate how they uh, differ from each other so here this is the Cartesian coordinate plane accordingly now we will discuss how the plotted points, what are the coordinates, x and y coordinates for the plotted, plan, plotted points and then we will discuss if the order pairs or these points are given, then how to plot them on the graph paper. Here we can call these are order pairs. So here x coordinate and y coordinate. So if these points are given, order pairs are given, then we can plot them on the graph paper or if the points are plotted in this way on the graph paper, we have to find the order pairs that is x coordinate and y coordinate. Thank you for joining us.